In this video, we will demonstrate the performance of a Man Whitney U test. And this test is typically used to compare groups. So typically you have uh, dichotomous groups, two groups um, that you want to compare uh, on the grouping variable or the independent variable. And then you have the outcome is a ordinal scale measurement point, such as a rank or such as um, some kind of a rating that uses the ordinal data scale. We can also use data that is in interval or ratio scale that is non-normally distributed. In other words, it has a, a non-normal distribution. And what the program will do is convert that numeric data into ranked data. So we can have either of those kinds of data, data that's actually organized and entered in as a rank, or data that's numeric that will then be converted to a rank. Now there are a couple assumptions that we make when we use the man Whitney u test. And first of all, the, the assumption that the grouping or the independent variable is dichotomous. In other words, we can only have two groups that we compare using this test. The measures, uh, of the outcome measures, uh, have been, are independent of each other and have been collected without bias. Uh, we also assume that the subjects have been collected uh, or assigned using some level of randomization. We're assuming the outcome measure is ordinal scale or interval or ratio scale that's being converted to ordinal scale. And then lastly, that the total sample size is at least eight subjects. So in the situation that we're going to look at in this demonstration is we have uh, our two variables here. Program represents uh, a type of training program. So we have subjects that have been randomly assigned to two types of running training programs. We want to compare the effect of the two training programs on the outcome, which is rank or finish place in a race. So the subjects went through two separate training programs. They were then brought together and ran a race together, um, and they were assigned a finish place or a finish rank. And what we're trying to determine is if either of the two training programs has a significant effect uh, on the finish rank that the subjects attained. The logic being that if one program is more effective than another, then the more effective program subjects will be clustered towards the higher rankings. In other words, if the program was affected, those people should be finishing towards the top of the ranking. And if the two programs really are different from one another, one's less effective than the other, then the less effective program subjects will be clustered near the bottom of the rankings. And so the man winning u test is, is kind of looking for that differentiation between where the, the typical rank is for people in one group versus the typical rank for subjects in another group. So before we begin the analysis, we need to set a null hypothesis. And the null hypothesis will be very similar to what we would set up for other types of two group comparisons like an independent t-test, and that is that the mean or typical rank for program one will be equal to the mean or typical rank for program number two. We're then going to calculate the Man Whitney U score and we're going to use the p-value of less than 0.05 to determine if there is a significant difference between the two groups. So if a Man Whitney U score that we calculate is associated with a p-value less than 0.05, then we can reject the null hypothesis and say that training program does have an effect on finish rank. If the Man Whitney U score we calculate is associated with a p-value greater than 0.05, then we would accept the null hypothesis and say that the training program does not seem to have an effect on finish rank. So in order to do the analysis, we need to go to the Analyze menu. We go to Non-Parametric Tests. And then I prefer to choose Legacy Dialogs because it gives me a little more control over how the analysis is done. And then I'm going to go down to the option known as Two Independent Samples. So a lot of people like to, to use the analogy of the Man Whitney U test is very similar to or is kind of the counterpart to the independent t-test. Whereas an independent t-test we assume normality of the data, but in a Man Whitney U test, we don't assume normality or we have ordinal scale data. So this is the logic and the setup is very similar to what we would do with an independent t test. So we choose that two independent samples option. And then this, this uh, 
decision box looks a lot like the independent t-test decision box we have. So we have to move, we have to decide a grouping variable. So type of program is our grouping variable. In other words, our independent variable. And we need to define which numeric values we're using to differentiate the two groups. In this case, we're using a 1 and a 2. Again, this number could be anything we want it to be. Um, it doesn't have to be 1 or a 2. It could be 623 or it could be 974. It doesn't really matter. We click Continue. We need to make sure our outcome, in this case, finish rank, is in the test variable list. And then we need to make sure that man Whitney U uh, is the, the test that's been chosen. And that is the, the default in SPSS. Okay, once we have that arranged, we can click OK and we can check out the output. Okay, so the first thing we'll see in the output are, again, our two training groups differentiated as well as the number in each group. And then we can see the mean rank or the typical rank for each group. So the typical rank for the Hill training group was uh, 7.6 and the typical rank for the traditional training group was 13.4. So the next thing we can do is look at the Man Whitney U score and that score is 21. And we now want to look at what p-value that score is associated with. So we're doing a two-tailed test is typically how we would um, approach this. And the significance value or p-value associated with that u-score is 0 0.028, which is less than 0.05. So we're going to be able to reject the null hypothesis and say that training program did have an effect on finish rank with the Hill training program apparently more effective. In other words, it resulted in a higher finish rank or better performance than the traditional training program in this particular sample. So to summarize, we use the Man Whitney U test to compare two groups that were being compared on an ordinal scale outcome variable. We set a null hypothesis and set a hypothesis testing criteria. We use the Man Whitney U score then to determine if the independent variable had a significant effect on the outcome variable. And in this case, we found that it did. And so we're able to make the conclusion that the independent variable did have a significant effect and then using the typical rank or mean rank value we're able to determine which of the two training programs appeared to be the most effective.